What's going on, guys, and welcome to another episode of Continued on Tasty Loot Gaming. Continued is a show where we play a game we've been playing, and we tell you why we think you should be playing yourself. My name's Seth, and this is Doom. Uh, Doom is the new uh, reimagining of the original Doom that came out for uh, PC, Super Nintendo, a bunch of stuff back in the day, and um, is really trying to achieve... Uh, at least in my opinion, what the original Doom was doing, which is essentially blowing away demons in a hell-like place with a lot of guns. Um, I actually did an episode on the multiplayer beta, uh, make sure to check that out, but, uh, but yeah, I'm actually playing the game itself, the single player, and so far I think it's pretty cool. Um, and it's actually being met with a lot of, uh, a lot of good reviews, surprisingly. Um, as of now, it's been out for a couple weeks. But uh, yeah, I figured I'd show you guys a little bit of the game, uh, tell you what I'm liking about it, and uh, yeah, let's get into it, um, as I already am right now. Um, now, as opposed to uh, Doom 3, when that first came out, I've, I have nothing but high praise for that game. Um, it kind of revolutionized games at the time and kind of paved the way for what games are now. Um, and it was a really neat experience. But this game is definitely trying to uh, recapture the fun of Doom. Uh, whereas Doom 3 was more of an experience, this game is just a really chaotic, hectic, uh, gory shooter. Um, oh shit. forgot how I switched that. Um... One thing I do appreciate about this iteration of Doom is uh, it has been struggling for a while uh, with trying to modernize their games. Their games always come out and they always look great, but they don't have systems that really uh, fit with the landscape of gaming now. Um, so in this game, you can actually get upgrades and upgrade your weapons, which I think is you know, standard for most games, but for an id game, it's actually, um, it's really nice to see them do that. So, for instance, with this pistol, if I press the L2 button, it actually turns into a, uh, gun that shoots, um, with more damage, but there's a cooldown, and then you have to let it charge again. Um, Another thing they added with this game is uh, an emphasis on melee combat. When you attack a person, they actually start flashing, and when they start flashing, you can run up and kill them in a lot of gory ways, which is always really fun. Um, let's see, I have a shotgun with two upgrades. One of them is essentially an explosive round. The other one is this three-round burst, which is pretty cool. Um, Now, as you can see, this game is a pretty pretty good looking game. Um, I'm sure it looks great on PC, uh, but for a console, I think it looks fantastic. Let's see, what was I doing? Where where was I going? Um, let's see. Oh, the yellow indicator. Should probably head that way. Um, do I need to go down here? Oh. Now also, when I say they kind of went more old school with this, as you can see, the game plays really quickly, like you, it's it's fast paced, you move really fast, so the enemies, um, they have it set up so you can dodge bullets, um, preemptively see what they're about to do and try and react to it. Um, you also rely for health on... Um, on health kits, health packs, and uh, and shields, just like the older Dooms, uh, which I think is a neat callback to that. Now, one thing about this game that I've noticed that I I don't mind so much, but I do mind it a bit, otherwise I'd be a hypocrite, is it does seem like it does kind of follow the kill box syndrome that we've talked about in prior episodes, where you enter a room and you kill so many dudes, and then it allows you to go to the next room. Um, a lot of guys will just spawn out of nowhere, and they're kind of they spawn based off of in you know the lore they're they're coming from hell or whatever so they show up. Um, 
But because the game's so fast-paced and, like, full of, like, carnage, it, it kind of works. But at the same time, it is something I wish they got a little more creative with. It'd be cool to see some, uh, some more cinematic encounters. Of course, they brought the chainsaw back. Very gory. Pretty cool. Weapon upgrade point gained. Let's see... Where's that? Where's that at? Like I said before, you can upgrade your weapons. It seems so far uh, every weapon has two upgrades, except for the pistol. Um, like I said, uh, charge burst is the three-round burst. Explosive shot is a explosive shot. Um, I just got the plasma rifle, so I am curious about what it does. Um, but they are locked. So, let's see... Mmm, equip mods, swap active mods. Let's see if there's anything else I can unlock. Um, well, I keep doing that. Uh, let's see what's in here. Increase the size of explosion, that's pretty cool. Removes the loading time for the explosive shot, that's also pretty cool. Let's do that. Let's buy these. Oh, they go up each time you do it. Okay, makes sense. Um, okay, where was it going? How do I get through? What the fuck was that? So yeah, I have to destroy these uh, hive things right now, which is like the second time I've done it, so hopefully the whole game isn't like that, but I don't think it's gonna be. One thing that's really refreshing about this game too is it does not feel like a lot of shooters out right now. It's very fast paced, everything's really gratifying, it just gets you in the shit and you go. Um, which is kind of cool, there's no... Yeah, as I said, they are kind of... Oh, fuck. Oh my god. As much as I would like cinematic uh, things to happen, I also appreciate that it's just a very blatant shooter that, that knows what it's doing. Okay, I gotta go. This way. Oh, wunderbar. Let's see if I get these two hives real quick. Now, to also be fair, um, this is not a game I would recommend to just anybody. I mean, if you're just into shooters, if you like Doom, um, I would definitely say pick it up. Um, if you're not quite sure, I would wait for it to go on sale though, because it is very much what it is. Like, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's not a hard sale for me. I think it's cool, but I could see how some people could just kind of get bored of the uh, run through, shoot people constantly thing. Um, but it does add a little bit of depth with the upgrades. Um, oh, there we go. A lot of people also uh, are not into fast-paced shooters. A lot of people I know are into more um, casual games. And not even just like casual games, but more like slower-paced games. Or not even into FPSs. Area lockdown, neutralized threat. Who the fuck am I neutralizing? Oh. Neutralized. Who else? This is what I mean by that kill box thing, too, is like, you know, I can't progress without killing these guys. And normally that bothers the fuck out of me games, namely like games like Gears of War. But because enemies 
die pretty quickly in this, and it's all more fast-paced. It's it's not as obnoxious. Oh shit! Bye. damage in this game? I don't think I want to test that. Let's see if there is a way down. Whoa! What's up, dude? I really like the updated versions of the guns, too, because it's... A lot of people... Oh, my God. Hopefully I had a fucking checkpoint. Um... A lot of people are saying that this doesn't feel like Doom, and I, I, I think it does, but I think it's also really cool that you can actually look at the guns, and they're actually updated versions of the original guns. Like, they look like the original guns, which I think is really fun and cool. Kind of brings it, uh, brings it back. Let's see if I can do this without dying. Oh yeah. That would probably help. Okay. We gotta get down here. Where's it at? Where's it at? There it is. Whoa! Mm -mm. It's funny, I remember watching the trailer for this game and it pretty much showed this and I thought it was like a pre-rendered like cutscene of a dude just running through murdering people, but the more you play you're like you really get that sense of like they really did work on this game to make it feel like that because all like the whole time I'm just Shooting and ripping people apart constantly. It's pretty, uh, it's impressive how, how visceral they made that. Ah! Stop running! Piece of shit. Mmm. It also rewards you for melee kills. So if you got them flashed like this and kill them, you could normally get uh, some ammo back and some uh, health. So it wants you to stay in the shit and keep going. Kind of going back to its uh, run and gun roots. Rewarding you for run and gunning. Activate the cooling turbine. I guess I could do that. I guess I can, I can do that, maybe. Also, there's a lot of Easter eggs in the game, or so I've heard. The only one I've seen so far is if I jump in this lava, I will actually uh, put my thumb up like uh, Terminator 2, which I think is pretty funny. Oh, shit. Spawning. Fun. Put. Huh. 
Fucking decked him in the face. Oh, yeah. Kill guys. Oh, what's up, BB? Bye. Anyone else? Anyone else? Can I go? This guy likes to hold their hands a lot. Oh fuck, there's two of them. That's awesome. Out of ammo, out of ammo, out of ammo. I love being out of ammo. He's also got, as you can tell, a very fucking, uh, very hardcore soundtrack. I think it fits. I'm tempted to use this on these guys, but I feel like I might die. Nope. Nope. Let me over. Let me over. Six years. a lot easier if I had fucking ammo. No, no. I don't know where the other guy went. He's probably gonna pop out and fucking kill me.
kind of cheesing out right now, but it's all I got. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Oh my god! Give me health, give me health, give me health. so much all right and that is that that was fucking stupid the core temperature is now stabilized let's see what I can upgrade we'll make it bigger Try it out, and then we'll end this episode. A primary Give me this. Has been activated somewhere nearby. It could be Olivia. Authorization Olivia Pierce Alpha Four Zero Two. Alright, well that was uh, fun to watch. Um, I think it's going to be it for this episode though. Let's check out our explosive shell, which is fucking crazy. Um, I think it's going to do it. Uh, that was Doom. Like I said, I would suggest this to anybody who likes FPSs or likes Doom. If you're into RPGs, I don't think you're really particularly going to like this. But give it a try anyway, because you might think it's refreshing compared to your Call of Duties and Battlefields. Um... But yeah, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Make sure to like, subscribe, subscribe if you uh, if you did. Um, check out our other episodes. Check us out on Tumblr and Twitter, Taste of the Game. Check us out on Twitch, Sleep Division. Uh, come back on Friday. We'll be doing our Plus Club episode that we should have did last week. Um, but yeah, as always, thanks for watching. My name's Seth. And until the next episode, take it easy, guys.